Hello, in this lesson we're going to discover Pythagoras' theorem involving right angle triangles. So we begin with a 6 cm by 8 cm right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is the side which is opposite the right angle. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the area of the square on the 6 cm side, which is 6 by 6, so 36 centimeters squared plus the area of the square on the 8 centimeter side which is 8 by 8 so 64 centimeters squared is equal to the area on the side of a hypotenuse which is a hypotenuse squared so the 36 centimeter squared plus the 64 is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 36 times 64 is 100. And this is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And by square rooting both sides, the square and the square root will cancel. The square root of 100 is 10. So the length of the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters. Okay, let's try question B. Okay, for question B, we have a 4 by 5 right angle triangle. And the area of the square on the length of a 4 centimeter side will be 4 times 4, which is 16. And the area of the square on the 5 centimeter side will be 5 times 5, which is 25. The hypotenuse is the side which is opposite the right angle and the area of the square on this side will be the hypotenuse squared and Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the two smaller squares the 16 plus the 25 has the same area as the square on the hypotenuse side 16 and 25 is 41 so 41 is the area of a square on the hypotenuse side. We'll square root both sides because then the square and the square root will cancel. The square root of 41 to one decimal place is 6.4 centimeters. Okay, should we try question C? Okay, so do you want to try and work out the length of the hypotenuse for question C? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so for question C, we know the area of a square on the 16 centimeter side will be 16 squared. The area of a square on the 12 centimeter side will be 12 squared. And the area of a square on the hypotenuse side will be the hypotenuse squared. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us that 12 squared plus the 16 squared will equal the hypotenuse squared or the, the sum of the areas on the two shorter sides is equal to the area on the side of the hypotenuse, which is 144 plus 256 will equal the hypotenuse squared. 144 at 256 is 400. And now we can do the square root of both sides and these will cancel. The square root of 400 is 20. So the length of the hypotenuse is 20 centimeters. Okay, do you want to try question D where we are dealing with an isosceles triangle? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, if you look at the triangle we have, there are no right angles and Pythagoras theorem applies to right angle triangles. But what we can do is we can drop a line down here and this will cross at right angles. It will also bisect this line. So this line becomes half of a 10, which is fine. So now we have a right angle triangle, which is five by 12. And this side is the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras' theorem tells us 
Now the area of this squared, which is 5 squared, plus the area of this side, which is 12 squared, will equal the area of a hypotenuse side, which is the hypotenuse squared. So 5 squared plus the 12 squared will equal the hypotenuse squared. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144, and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared. 25 add 144 is 169. So by square rooting both sides, the square root and the square root cancel. And the square root of 169 is 13. So that will be the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful and thanks again and take care.